Google attack has tons of issues. There are hackers, player trackers, and even sometimes not even an update. What? But the biggest issue right now is actually the update itself. It is a really good update and adds a lot of stuff to the actual game. Oh, it still has one really big issue. Hold on. The update because he hates gay people. And what you just saw was the biggest issue. Oh. So the update has been out for about a week now. Some people have come to peace with it oh. and actually really like it, and others not so much. That's mainly what this entire video is going to be about. It could also be about the 40% of you guys that watch my videos that aren't even subscribed. Because please consider hitting the subscribe button or else I'll just... Anyways, that's enough with the intro. Let's get on to the actual video. Yeah! The absolute first thing I'm going to start off with is the basement map. Oh, they literally added nothing in here. Like, ah. could have made a rainbow couch, lamp, picture, books, or even the boxes. Bruh. But for some reason, they did not touch the basement at all. Hello, everybody. My name's Cupco. Mm. If you're new around here every other month, basically congratulating Gorilla Tag and also dissing them for doing stuff wrong. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about the brand new toxic community. Also, tons of addictions. Also, why would they add this stuff to the game? Uh. This update has been out a week, and without a doubt, it's caused so much controversy. Even a lot of player drops. Or did it really? Really? I am gonna start with the less boring stuff and go, you know, to the boring stuff later. Before the update got released, there was a leak on Twitter. And what the leak showed was this, that, this, this, even the stage right here. All the comments were flooded with people saying they're gonna quit, this update sucks, and they haven't even seen it yet. In my opinion, it's super funny, but there's no reason to quit the game. Keep in mind, the trailer didn't show the full game or even the bouncy house races. I did expect the community to change their mind, but a week later... Hey, do you like this update? Nah, no. I hate it. Bruh. Now that's a valid opinion. Not everybody has to like the updates. And that has nothing to do with the issue I'm talking about. The real issue I'm actually talking about is, well... Burn this shit. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. What? I go burn it. Oh. I go burn this. Oh. oh. You can see in the community is kind of on edge. Now it isn't all like this. There's a lot of innocent people. Cotton candy flag? Yeah. Game on. This is game on. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you not know? What the fuck is going on here? This is all kind of fine because people have their own opinions and they don't always have to agree with stuff. The biggest issue is players attacking other players. <laughs> gonna get in disguise as someone completely random. How do I look? Wait, what? Now how do I look? I'm gonna go into city lobbies and equip one of the flags. Then go by mirror and see if someone goes at me. Before I go any farther, I'm just gonna say that this video is kind of like a myth-busting video. I do this more to connect with you guys and the community. So if you guys have any opinions, please tell me down below. Look at this. This looks really cool. This looks cool, right? This is cool. Look how cool this is. Like my flag? Green deal. Do you like my flag? Yeah, I love your flag. I hate Thank you. It. As you can see, this experiment is going good and bad at the same time. But it seems to be more positive over negative. <laughs> bro, what are you doing? I just want to know if you like my flag. What the hell? Oh, what did I do? I'm about to set that on fire. As you can see, my experiment kind of went horrible. I act like I didn't know what it was, and a lot of people pretended to, you know, want to burn it. Like, what did I even do? I were on the topic of community. Gorilla Tag player just from newborn to, like, 33. <laughs> from watching YouTube videos, Videos about this update there's a lot of younger people who just don't understand my slight issue with this update is there's a lot of young people who play gorilla tag even though you have to be 13 and over a lot of people are not blue blue what does mean what does this mean what does mean blue Bruh. what are you for where the issues come in they have no idea what it means and they still hate it it's really really weird what does this mean the pride oh what does that mean um, um, I don't know. Is it good or bad? Yeah, it's good. It's bad. What the flag mean? Which flag? What does that mean? I don't know. You know, you know, new update mean. Um, what? As you can see, a lot of people are helpful, but they are very, very disliking in this update. The biggest issue with the community is the young age attacking literally anybody or even the older age attacking anybody. In my opinion, this update is really cool. It adds tons to the game oh. with an entire game filled with kids saying the N-word. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lobby number one. Okay, okay. Everybody's nice in here. Come on, go to city, go to city. Thing wrong in here. Back to force. Lobby number three. Come on. We got this. Easy. Michael! Don't leave me here! Come on, what's wrong with Doug? Oh, never mind. Then get it! 
That's it. That's it. That's time. That's being under 10 lobbies. That's how many times it took me. Someone saying a slur. What? About the community, even though it's like half the video, probably. What? I want to hear you guys' opinions on this update and what they should add and remove. Bi monthly videos are all about talking about community and um, what Gorilla Tag does to the game. So that's enough about community. Let's get on to, well, player count. As you can see, there's 34,000 players online. In the Discord, you can check, but previous updates haven't even hit 60k. This update hit 60k players in a peak. Woo! And if it was for the wrong reason, it still hit over 60k, which is massive. I think even though this update was super controversial, it brought Gorilla Tag back to its feet. It's currently a Wednesday near 12 p.m. and there's 34,000 players online. This never happens, but there is kind of a slight downside to this. There's a lot of banned players. Even for the wrong reason, 2,300 players banned. Now, this is an average number, but I saw it close to 3,000 the other day. And if you times that by 10, we would reach the player count. That's really it. There's nothing else to it. There's just that, the player count. A lot of people remember it's there, but the thing they don't remember is here. You have to go in city and all the way down to the caves. The rotating map. It gets forgotten after the next week. Now I'm on default queue, and if I go down here, go all the way to the ground, I go into a lobby on default. Hello? 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 See, it's not even a full lobby. I go to leave, and, uh, well, join back. I find the same lobby. It doesn't last when I go into the next one. This is the same lobby as last time. I feel like at the top, the Gorilla Tech should add maybe a glowing sign or something actually pointing to the rotating map. It's like they put a little bit of time into these maps, and it goes away every four weeks. Why wouldn't you want people to play it the most they can? Fuck, no, you Oh, dear. It just doesn't stop. I was just trying to get the city stumped. I think they should add something that points to it. Maybe something above here. Or even right here saying competitive and, well, rotating map. Through the entire competitive course like you should. As I press the button, your map is kind of hidden, which was really cool at first. But now you can barely see it. This is one of the coolest things that Gorilla Tech has ever added. I don't really think they should change it. But if they would add something to show where it's at a bit more. Just so their work can be shown. Because the maps do look kind of cool. Bringing back the old maps is a really good idea. And they could bring back stuff like slide beta and a bunch more that also peaked the player count and uh, got a lot of people to play and it's really cool that they're adding hidden secrets to old maps but this thing right here this can change to daily hats or daily badges but it has been around way too long. At this point, I'd rather it just go away than anything. And I'm sure some people would, well, agree. Hey, do you know we have daily tees? You know we got daily tees? No. Where? What? Where? That right there showed it's been there way too long, and it probably needs to leave. i change to something else, because I really like badges or even hats. Not a lot of people wear shirts or even own shirts in Gorilla Tag. Real life, they probably do. So far, the updates have been really good, and I have nothing to criticize about Gorilla Tag's work. Well, except for the beach map right here, you will notice that there's a lot, but not not enough opinion they did a great job but adding little stuff like well colored water or even changing colors in certain stuff they did change this these and well that's actually it they should change stuff like water it would be really really cool right here if you want a little bit more to the city but whether it's a controversy update or not this just looks super bare i mean just look at this there's nothing on the store that this update has to be one of the coolest updates to ever come out now the sum updates are really usually good and this update brought a lot of new stuff they bought the races, they bought new cosmetics, and even a brand new holiday to add to the list. If you made it this far, comment down Hi Cub Cub three times in the comments. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys, and wait, what is- ah!